Good uh, morning, guys. Welcome to today's video. You know why they're so skinny? Why? They're going up and down to the barn all day. That's why they're so skinny. Who? The dogs. Oh. Molly eats. And if exactly. she didn't around, she wouldn't be she Exactly. Would. So what is that telling you? If we want to be skinny, what do we need to do? Not run. <laughs> Exercise. Like, yeah, get a treadmill. Oh, yeah, get a treadmill. Right. Anyway, so welcome Ready, to Molly. today's video. We are all up and er, up and at it early this oh, morning. Oh, I can't. Woo! Oh, wow. How did that happen? You didn't put them the way I wanted them. Oh, sometimes when somebody else does something we'll that... We'll so that we can pull whatever pair we wanted. Pretty. I feel like there's still more down there. There oh, is. Oh, hi, Lexi. Anyway, Sam surprised us yesterday, or surprised me, and brought a lot of our jumps and stuff. We still have to go down and get the tires. I feel it in my heart that we're gonna move this winter. Like I don't know for sure, so don't. I'm not making any promises. I'm not making any promises, but I feel it. Like I don't know, and I want it to be ready. I want everything to be ready. How did she spill her grain? Because she's scared, Gabby. Did you pull? So I pulled her off because I left her door open. Gabby, Gabby, where's my Oh, she came to you. Oh. Oof. Her. Somebody said cats don't like to be picked up, so when we pick them up all the time, it makes them not want to come to us. And somebody else says, You do not hold them right, so they will never love you. My dad loves me. He just I know. still purring. He hates Ruby. I know. I was holding still Sophie's purring. yesterday, and he was purring like crazy. But where is mine? Where's I don't know. Go look up there. That's my Sophia's guess. Normally in that room. Let's go make sure they have food. Oh, there he is. <laughs> he was like, I heard you. He was hiding in the jump room. Hello, little man. So I asked Brandon. Mm, he smells like trees and bushes. I asked Brandon yesterday, why can't we neuter this guy at four months? And he said that he doesn't make the rules. He just follows them. So can't neuter him until four months in Canada. So four months or six months, sorry. Um, so it doesn't matter anyways, hopefully. Hopefully he'll be okay. Uh, our girl won't come into heat till spring, so she'll definitely be. It'll it'll definitely be all fixed up by then. One thing about Sophie is that want to be picked up, I put him down. She loves she she loves hard, and she builds relationships hard. All right, we are getting ready to go back down to the barn. We finished school. We've been chilling in front of the fireplace because it's freezing. Isn't it freezing outside? In Canada, when it gets cold, you put your coat on just to get warm. Also, we have three blankets. Oh, actually, those colors look cute together. We have, no, we have three. That one's not blanket. Yeah, it's just it for pretty. Yeah. <laughs> I made it. It's not a blanket. It's, it has it's actually, holes. It's a blanket. It is a blanket, just it's not warm. Yeah, it's not warm enough. It shouldn't even. Considered a yeah. But literally, it's so cold outside. High of 17 today. This Sunday, we have a show on Sunday. On Sunday, the temperature... I'm cold. I can pick you up. Oh, gosh. Not again. On on Sunday, the temperature is supposed to be 13 degrees. You put clothes on. <laughs> I got heavier you with clothes on. These things on. Slippers on. We're just about to head down to the barn. Uh, we're going to give you a quick Molly update first. Tell it's us all about Molly. Okay. Um, How much does she weigh? Probably 25 pounds. She was like 20 pounds the last time she was at the vet. I bet she's about. So probably 25 pounds. Yeah. Because Houston's like 30 or 40. Houston's bigger. Um. Is she super affectionate? Yes. Does she hug and kiss and curl up with you? Yes. Is she a sensitive? Doesn't really curl up with you. You have to make her, but it's fine. Is she a sensitive dog? Yes. Too sensitive. Is what kinds of things is she sensitive about? Uh, when you t get her in trouble, like, don't do that. She does that. Do it again. She pees. Yeah. Don't do that. No. It's <laughs> like, <laughs> we love you. That was a trick. We just wanted to show them what you do. She is really super sensitive. Uh, is she, she also is really energetic and wants you to play with her all the time. And if you throw her dog toy one time, she will bring it back to you. 15 million. Times. I know. And then you have to get mad at her and say, no. No. If you say, go, then she'll just leave. 
and go to someone else. Uh -huh. So but when dad says down, like no off, because off is her word for her to stop jumping on people. She pees. Yeah, so she yes. is a bit of a nervous wedding problem. It's not really bad or anything. It's just an occasional thing. It happened the first time when we started taking her to the vet. It's because Brandon's a male. Like, yeah, it actually happened the first time she met my Brandon's son. Brandon's a man, and no, that was after her first. She peed vet. on Mark first, and no, then that was oh, after that's first right. Vet. It happened first when it's we. It's because Brandon's a man, and he takes her in to get shot. Yeah, we can't go in with her and, to offer her any kind of like. And Ruby's jealous. Yeah, and Ruby's jealous. So if you need a puppy. Like, look at this. <laughs> Yeah, it's true. Ruby's getting a haircut. Very soon, <laughs> Ruby will go to anybody. Why I think. Do you need a haircut? I personally think this is the best dog on earth. Like this dog has done us Mom well. Need a nope, she never no, needs a haircut. Hey, wait, we're still doing an interview. So, how is she for chewing and ruining toys? Her toys, like she doesn't really chew anything else. Yeah, it's true. She has never chewed a single thing until last night and the night before. Gabby sleeps with her. And the last two nights, she's gotten super brave, climbed off Gabby's bed in the middle of the night, and then chewed her stuff. Two of her shirts. And so that means she's not ready again to stay out of a crate at night. So we're going to be crating her again at night. So how is she with the other dogs? She's good. Out of 1 to 10, um, how would you vote her for, like, behavior? Is she a good dog, number 10? Uh, 9. She's 9 out of 10. Is she still your dream puppy? Is she well behaved or a brat? Well behaved. Yeah, I think she's well behaved too. So back in the beginning, we were having trouble getting her to eat. Has that resolved itself? No. She's still picky eater? Yeah. She doesn't eat. All right, last question. What is her favorite thing to do? I don't know. <laughs> okay. Run around. Run around. Outside. Does she ever hide from you? Sometimes. <laughs> So Molly, loves all, so Molly loves all of us, like she's good with all of us, she interacts with all of us. I'd say she's a 9 out of 10 on the puppy scale too. She's doing really well, she's 6 months old now. And the funniest thing for me is that Gabby takes her everywhere with her, which is really good, I like that about her. So when Gabby gets ready for 16 hours every day in the bathroom, and she says, and has a shower, she says, Molly, bathroom and Molly usually will run up the stairs and wait for Gabby in the bathroom but sometimes Molly doesn't really want to go in the bathroom and so she'll run That's underneath right. our computer desk where Sam and I are working at night and she'll hide there and think that Gabby won't find her but she's really good she's fit in really good Ruby has fit in with her perfectly Ruby still maintains the role of perfect dog I think outside, outside, outside. No, that's Sometimes the Gabby takes the dogs out here and they, this is where they run and play. You guys, look at the view from the top of our little hill. So oh, that day that our horses broke free and then booted it down the road, they went into this farmer's field and went all the way down to the bottom of there. So there's our barn. Kaylee came all the way through here, climbed through the fence, and went down there. <laughs> what? <laughs> I fell. <laughs> And this is why I did not want my horses out here. Ah, so big. <laughs> the hole here. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm never going on that hill again. <laughs> Sophie's like. <laughs>
Ow, my heel is hurting now. Uh. How did she get in here? I blocked it off so the cats can't get out, but the cats still get out. You want to tie it, try a dog treat? Yeah. I'm not going to be Ruby! Gabby's going to try a dog treat and she's going to hide. I'm not. One of the things that I love about our barn above other barns is I love the layout and I love the lighting. Like Sam put really good lighting in here. I don't like the layout. You don't like the layout? What's wrong with the layout? I like long row instead of an L shape. Yeah. It's kind of narrow. I mean, it's not narrow, but it's not wide. There's not that yeah, that's the dogs. Oh. Bark. Yeah. At the rope. Yeah. We only have two. Two cross ties, and I like it all straight and wider. Yeah. So I'm on a wider spot. I so mean, we could knock out. You can actually stand with room sideways like this. Yeah. He cannot turn around in this side. Yeah. I still like it, though, because it facilitates a more bright light. I love that they have the arena just outside the door. I love that Sam cut the door in half. That's been like a dream. So this is my pony. If I, I didn't put that cross tie on because. Because she's little. Because she's little. And I didn't like it when it yanks her head to both sides. So uh, that girl, I'm gonna call her Beauty. The Beauty at the other barn. The horse that I think is the most beautiful horse I've ever seen. Oh. She is in heat, I think. She's been peeing all around our boys, like peeing everywhere. So I think she's in heat. Which is why our boys love her so much. So the girls are taking care of the ponies. Dogs are running free. Cats are running free. Dogs are probably chasing the cats. We're trying to teach her how to back up. To actually trust me when I back her up. Do you know how good Evie backed up? I want Willow to be that good at backing up. See that little horse that I almost got taught us something. Does she back up for the lot? Yeah, she had really good backing up skills. Like, but you could ask her to back up and she would just Will back up. She trust you. She doesn't. Does she not trust you or does she. She doesn't, there. She doesn't trust that there's nothing in her way behind her. Or does she want to be the boss of you? She doesn't trust that, that she's not going to run into a wall and stuff. Molly! long time coming you guys this little pony does not like the pool she's never ever walked in the pool before we've been sitting here for a half an hour with Sophie working with her yay sometimes I like to just sit down here on this chair in the middle of the afternoon and watch my kids play with the ponies and that's what we just did all afternoon we just sat here yep. and I watched them and the reason I like it is because that's when they talk that's when they like just talk about stuff and yeah. it's like we kind of bond more when um, we're just sitting here in the barn. have to go up because we it is riding day is riding lessons with Brandon we're having Brandon's lessons first this week so we're headed up to do that or we have to eat before we can go I do not like any grouchy hungry kids at riding lessons where'd you throw it hopefully they see it because our horses are weird about that they don't ever see anything you guys it is almost Sam's birthday and we just realized, she doesn't have their seatbelt on. Dad. We just realized that today's Macy's birthday. Today, Macy turns 12 years old. Like, three more years, and she's, she's like, if, if we get, if she has three more years left, wow, like, we're, we're losing animals like crazy. She's old, she's an old girl. So when we get home, you guys, we have to say happy birthday to her, okay? 
we're gonna sing happy birthday to her. So we came super early so that we could go out in the I woods, see horses. catch our horses. Oh yeah, I just saw them all. Those are the outdoors. Yeah, the outdoor horses. And then we just realized that it is the time that he brings them in each day. So our horses are probably gonna be in, which sucks because they eat grain and then we have to wait. Hopefully they're in already and done their grain and then we'll be perfect timing. But yeah, so now we're here so super early. All right, our horses are out. We got here in time. It's better if we, oh, I see them. It's, it's better if we feed them after a lesson, I feel like. Is, or is that only two? No. I'm blinded by the sun. Can you guys see? We're like, we can't see anything. Okay, there we go. Okay, All three of them are there. We can wait a few minutes. No, my horse, I'm gonna brush it. <laughs> the barn is, is packed. Aww. Look at that. He loves his girl. Make him come to you. Aww. Storm. <laughs> oh, he's Storm. looking. He's like, oh my goodness. He's like, oh, I have to come. That's incredible. Yeah. It's either that they love you so much or it's that it's supper time. I see two shoes. Yay. Yay. <laughs> Who's going to Sophie like, look at that. Oh, mom. and then we. Is that my mom? <coughs> <coughs> and she now who doesn't want to be left behind. Storm, come on. She's like, I'm not walking through the mud, lady. Come on. Selfies go on the easy way, no mud. I like when they throw, like I love when they throw out the shavings and the poop. It makes it much better. Aww. You can't come. So update on the farrier. The farrier is coming on Saturday so that we can show Chino in the show. So that means that we can't work with him and build him up more and get him going better. So Gabby's going to ride it both of the horses in the show. She has to tell her dad still. He's like, you're not leaving me here again. Do you think they think it's supper time? The barn is packed, which makes me happy that we ride during the day usually. Sorry, Chino, you can't come. Okay, go, go, go. Uh -oh. Hold it up, Sam. You don't like his cut? Who's cut? <gasps> is it worse? So this is the bathroom. It has a heated bathroom. There's a heated bathroom in this barn and these are the pictures. Every time I come in here, I see these pictures. I love this one. So we're actually gonna ride outside today, but um, the there's a lesson going on, so we're gonna just warm up inside and then go out when Brandon gets here. So, um, Crazy lesson, it was wild. Some of you guys told me to ask if there's a horse that I could rent here, and if they do have one that would be suitable for me. Um, and then I was like, why don't I just ride Storm? Like, I could just ride Storm, it's not that big of a deal. And then she, the, the lady that runs this place, helps run this place, she's so nice, and her daughter rides with the girls in lessons. And she said that she goes once a week with her daughter riding on a trail, and I'm like, we go too, like, why don't we just all go on a big trail, trail ride? Like. Aqua Droid Storm and she said that they have like a really nice Australian saddle for me. I'm like, oh, perfect. So, yeah, we're going to try and... Want to her head. What? They're going to want to pinch her head. And I'll stay with you. And Finn's going to throw a fit because he wants to be with his friends. Well, I'll stay with you. Anyway, so yeah, I'm going to try it. I'm going to see if I can do it. Like, you never know. I might have confidence here. I might have confidence in those woods like I do with the Pasofino horses. So what are you going to try? We're all going to go on a group trail ride with her and her mom. Yeah, I knew that. Yeah. Who are you gonna ride? Storm. Who am I gonna ride? Chino. Not until after Chino's fixed. He's saddle. getting fixed tomorrow. Oh, they have a saddle I can use. A really nice Australian one. Storm is picky about his saddle. Yeah, they have a hundred saddles. She said we can try them until we find one that likes fits. His custom seven thousand dollar one. He only likes it and says one. Trust me. Remember the last show? Storm did not like the other saddle. Well, um, maybe I can. You, you can ride. ride. Sophia fell off. Why don't you ride Chino in one of their saddles at a nice comfy Australian saddle? We will see. Oh my Maybe gosh. Saddle. Yeah, uh, we'll see what Storm likes. Chino's got a window here to look out and then a window over there. You got the best stall, dude. Horses are all tucked in for the night. 
All happy. You happy having your grain? Yeah. He needs another salt lick. He must be licking it really a lot at night. Yeah, this big bowl is here. Good night, Stormy. You did a good job. Yes, you did. It was a hard lesson, huh? Hard lesson for a little boy like you. Don't you know that you're beautiful?